Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Hold on. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Numbers twenty-eight. Um, it says the dollar. It says um, the daily offerings. Let's see. So basically, they said um that. He's not online yet. It says that his representation doesn't really be on tour. His type of um, title or status of what he does with Tana Tucker, he claims. Um, she said he claims he worked with Tana Tucker, but you can't believe people's story because people make big stories online like every single day. Mostly they do. Let's say they were celebrities and whatever. Like, why are you even telling me that anyway? Well, I did ask him, like, you don't have to lie about stuff. You can just be honest. Because honesty is more important than your career status of who you work for. That's basically what I told him. And then he was like, yeah, I don't think you know. I work for Tanya Tucker. He texted me that and sent a picture with a studio her on stage i guess but you can't really verify if the picture is real because he could have got that picture from someone else or online do you have to like a more video would be more accurate because you can see the person in the video um of who you're talking to being that it's always like catfishes on that facebook dating app and stuff like that there's mad catfishes on there and mad catfishes like everywhere else on the freaking um website on a date naps you have to be careful of who you're talking to on social media because people are making disguises saying they work for famous people but they really don't do that stuff they just want reputation or they have some type of problems with them but he is not mad enough in the mind to know that situation of where i'm coming from Evidently, because it doesn't matter how my mindset thinks of my view, my point of view, it doesn't make sense to him. It seems like that way. And it's really freaking sad because I talked to this person eight months over the Snapchat, and he didn't acknowledge the video call me, a five-minute video call didn't even have to be a long one um, to verify who I'm talking to or I would have felt more comfortable with the whole situation. Like, the whole situation was, like, all wrong of how he came to me and how, basically, um, I don't want to put all the blame on him, but the way he didn't and knowledge to say, hey, I want to call you on the phone sometime. Hey, I want to um, maybe exchange numbers or something. That's not talking about having a relationship. That's just being on a normal social person, talking as friends. Like, what is the, I don't understand that. It's not even normal.
is uh, crazy to me. I don't, I don't think the picture that he sent me looks like the one that it's on her Twitter page. Like it doesn't even look alike because he got a fatter face on that one or that's on his Twitter on her Twitter page. So I can't really know. Like I don't know. It's like confusing. The whole freaking thing is confusing. so freaking weird like why get on a facebook why do you get on a website like a social media dating app if you're scared to show your freaking face to anybody or have a reasonable conversation or give verification of you are for video if you can't do that that makes sense it's already verification made i'm real 